This surge in cases is putting a huge strain on our health care workers. So our Virginia Beach group is sending daily reminders to hospitals, hospital and EMS employees to show that the community still cares nine months into the pandemic. Allison Basil shows us how they're making a mark one simple snack at a time. Granola bars, fruit snacks, juice. I want it to be filled. I want them to open up and be like, oh my gosh. It's all being hand delivered to feed the front line. They don't yeah. really have time to sit down for a meal. When you're working in the ED and the ICU, I mean, literally you're on your feet for 14 hours straight. That's where the Pantry Box Project comes in. Pam Blaze formed the group in September with her friend Kathy Fox. We knew that at some point the restaurants would not be able to give. And they were giving a lot. Both women know the struggles healthcare workers face with over 30 years of nursing experience. They say former colleagues in the area report hospital beds are filling back up with COVID patients. These patients are very sick. Businesses also chip in. Every week they deliver donations from Brugger's Bagels, Tropical Smoothie, and more. Even something as small as a banana with an uplifting note is making all the difference. When you give somebody a banana that hasn't eaten, you know, for eight or nine hours or gone to the bathroom and it says you inspire us. I've had nurses and I've had doctors cry. Fox says they don't plan to stop. We'll be here for as long as we need to be. Blaze says their mission is to let staff know they aren't crushing COVID alone, leaving no hospital, EMS or health department behind. Don't want to forget about the very people who are making the sacrifice. Yes, it's their job, but nobody signed up to work in a pandemic. Anyone who wants to lend a hand can visit the Pantry Box Project Facebook page. In Virginia Beach, Allison Basil, 13 News Now.